and gentlemen. So for this week's video I wanted to uh, play with an idea I've seen online, other people have done it, and uh, Casey Golden has two similar videos. One where she draws on uh, stock art and another one where she draws on Polaroids. And I wanted to play with that idea a little bit and I wanted to draw faces on pictures of my cats. Because I'm a crazy cat baby. I mean, not really. I have three cats. We have Dash, the boy cat. He's very long and skinny, acts a lot like a dog, and is kind of dumb but smart at the same time. We have his sister, Violet, who is small and grumpy and has no tail and seems mostly always in a bad mood until she wants all of your attention, and I mean all of it. Those two cats came with us from Texas, and we have Penny, our third cat, and our Swedish cat. Best description for Penny is a drama queen. She wants all of the attention and pets, but if you move one direction that she wasn't expecting, she will flee from the room like there are demons on her tail. Very, very dramatic penny. Anyway, so like any other good cat mom, I have a lot of pictures of my cats. In fact, I went through all of my drives and compiled all the pictures into one folder on my hard drive. And that took me a really long time. Like, I was surprised how long that took me. And then going through all of those pictures and finding ones that I wanted to use for this project took even longer than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I like taking pictures of my cats, but you know, who doesn't? Cats are cute, and when they're looking cute, you just have to immortalize it in a photo, because they're cute, and I'm just gonna say cute a million times. So what I'm doing is I'm just finding an adorable picture of my cat, adding some personality to it, drawing on top of it, later added some speech bubbles to some of them. All in all, I love my cats, they're dopey, they're adorable, and I thought I would tell you some stories about my cats while I drew these faces on them. Violet does have a medical issue caused by her lack of a tail. Her digestive tract doesn't work as normal, so she's had to have periodic vet visits throughout her life. But she's strong and, you know, doesn't give up. We have actually been told multiple times by vets that she only had a week to live, and then she didn't go back to the vet for another, like, eight, nine months. And then the vet would be surprised and tell us she had a week to live again. And then we went and go back to the vet for another eight or nine months. And that actually leads up to where we got Penny, because Violet wasn't doing very well, and we decided, okay, well, we're going to adopt another cat so her brother Dash wasn't going to be alone. So we adopted Penny when Violet was still with us, to hopefully integrate a little bit. And we've had three cats now for over a year. We are not expecting that. We never thought we would have three cats. We're glad we have three cats, because we love our three cats. But that was not the plan. So when we were living in Texas still, we ha were renting a house that had um, a lot of space underneath it. It was a pier and beam house, so it wasn't built on a concrete slab. So there was space under the house, and we actually had a family of cats living under our house. There was a big feral cat population issue in this town and these cats would obviously make noises and be cats especially when one was in heat or they decided to fight at this point dash and violet were about a year and a half two years old when these cats under the house would make a noise dash would freak the fudge out uh, we jokingly called them the ghost cats and when they would fight and argue under the house and make a whole lot of noise dash would freak out he would be very jumpy and he'd be really worried something was around the corner and the best part was just like a child making their parents look under the bed for uh, monsters 
Dash would beg us, and by beg us would stand in front of the cabinets and cry, for us to open all of the cabinets in the room that the cat noises were coming from, which was usually uh, one of the bathrooms and everyone saw the kitchen. We would have to open all the cabinets and prove to our cat that there were not cats hiding in the cabinets waiting to get him. Penny um, came from a cat colony here in Sweden, living in garbage and eating garbage and actually got an infection of the gums and her body basically decided that her teeth were an invading force so they had to pull all of her teeth out um, so we have a toothless cat and it doesn't stop her um, it's quite amusing when she bites you because it feels like a soggy Muppet and she tries to like groom you with her teeth like a cat would, but of course there's no teeth, so it feels really funny. So all in all, we have a cat with no teeth, a cat with no butt, and a cat with no sense. Violet has another story too. Um, the first year that we were living here in our apartment in Sweden, we are on the third floor of an apartment and we were just getting used to not having air conditioning, opening windows and stuff like that. And we were, thought we were very careful about how wide we open the windows. Well, we got up in the morning to get ready for work and Violet normally is the one that yells at us to feed the rest of the cat. She's very food motivated, very loud, and very insistent when it comes to breakfast. Well, my husband and I groggily got up and went to work and when we came home, my husband said that he did not remember feeding the cats that morning. And I said, well, I mean, Violet's usually the one who says something. And then it struck us we had not seen Violet since we had gotten home. So we start running around the house, screaming her name, opening all the cabinets, looking underneath all the beds, freaking out because we could not find a cat. And we're on the third floor. My husband had opened up the kitchen window and it only opened up a little bit, but that little bit was apparently enough for my sweet little kitten to get out and not back in. So I went downstairs with full belief that I was going to find a dead kitten somewhere. Oh, my heart was broken. So I'm running around, I'm looking out the front windows, and then I go around to the back. Out our back windows is, everyone's got a back porch, and then the people on the ground floor kind of have like a small garden. So I walk around the back, I'm looking, I'm not seeing her laying anywhere. I, at this point, I'm like, okay, we haven't found her. I don't know what's going on. So I think, and I call her name and I hear the most pitiful. And part of me is excited, but also my heart's broken because God, my cat fell from the third floor window. She's gotta be laying like half dead. And so I start looking around on the grass and the bottom of the bushes and slowly her little pitiful turns into Wow Meow And she starts screaming at me to the point where my husband, who was still looking around in the house, comes out on the porch and is looking down because he can hear her through the windows of the house. Open this gate. I'm in this random person's backyard. There's a cat screaming at me, there's a husband trying to guide me, and then I see her. This cat had somehow miraculously landed in a bush that was growing on a fence between two concrete yards <laughs> from the third story floor of a window. So I got her, she clung to me tightly, shaking like a leaf, I'm shaking like a leaf, tears streaming down my face. We get up to the apartment and I'm poking and prodding and, and checking her legs and her feet and she's just shivering and clinging to me and she was worse for wear, but okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found some entertainment either out of the pictures I drew on top of my cat's faces or the stories I had to tell. Violet is still going strong, um, Penny and Dash are happy cats, and I hope this will continue on in the future. Comment below with uh, any weird cat stories or pet stories in general and the trouble that your fur babies or feather babies or scale babies get into. I want to know. Alright, until then, enjoy.
enjoy this video of my cats fighting and somehow matching up exactly with the episode of Naruto we were watching. Enjoy! Bye!